Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notification so that you know when I post new videos. So in today's video, I have a little bit of a project share to show you guys. This is just a card that I made for my sister for her birthday and it came out absolutely gorgeous so I wanted to share. Obviously, this isn't the card yet, this is just the envelope. But let's get into detail and I'll show you guys how I decorated the envelope too. So I didn't want to go too crazy with the envelope because you guys will see the inside is very like detailed and everything like the card. So um, just on the envelope here I added in a little bit of tool as a background for this flower. This flower thing I had layered with three different sizes. Then I uh, put in the happy birthday and I, I don't know if you guys could see but I propped it up on some foam to add a little bit of dimension. I love this foam. I just ordered it off of AliExpress. It's literally like a whole gigantic roll <laughs> that I got. Um, so I just had cut out a little bit of it um, for the happy birthday and then ran that through my die cutting machine. Um, on the bottom here, I added in some buttons. I think it just added a little bit of cute detail. And then I also handmade this um, tassel that I attached on some string. You guys can see the string doesn't go all the way. I cut that piece off, but I only glued this very top piece so that it could still move around the card. And I think that um, makes it more interesting as well. So now let's get into the inside of the card. So I have not decorated the back only because I didn't know like what to add here since the card you guys will see is already so detailed. But when you open it up, this pattern, there's like a different pattern. So I did it on double-sided uh, cardstock when I made the envelope. But let's take out the card and show you guys. So it lays like flat in here and then you take it out and it's like a little um, box card. I don't know if you guys could tell, it's gonna be like a little hard to show you guys on camera, but it is a box card and I think it's so cute. So my sister loves avocados, so I got this file from SVG Cuts. I will have a link down below. And I decided I would make my sister an avocado box card. So I had um, embossed these avocados to add a little bit of dimension. I also inked the edges of it, um, you know, to add a little bit more interest and some detail. I had folded the leaves. Um, I added this here, this little banner that says Avo Great Birthday. Um, the pattern paper, like here, I don't know if you guys could tell, it has little circles, which kind of reminds me of an avocado. So it's just paper with a silver um, on the inside, but this one I double backed it. Uh, it has a silver on the inside. You could do the same kind of like similar effect with um, circles if you just have black paper and a circles embossing folder. You could do that same thing. This little piece here is meant to look like a sticker on the avocado like when you purchase it at the store. Um, but yeah, I think like the embossing on even the avocados like adds a little bit of interest here. The sides of the crate are just pink. But yeah, some of this is like propped up on foam like this. You guys could see it adds a little bit of dimension. Can you guys see the foam right there? So the foam, uh, it's propped up on little foam dots. I'll have that link down below as well. And this one's propped up on like a thicker foam dot so that it sticks out even more. Um, but I just love how this card came out. So I really wanted to share with you guys. And then on the back of this card, so on the back you also could see like the detail of the avocado. You have one facing this way so you guys could see the avocado. Um, I wrote yes over here on this little I guess banner kind of thing and I wrote wishing you all the best on your 27th birthday and I wrote love Carolina and Dom. Um, so this is just going to be a card for my sister and I think it came out so cute. I hope she like you know displays it or something. Um, I mean obviously she doesn't have to but I think this would be like a great little display when somebody like comes in like a paper craft display. I don't know, it's super cute of avocado, like an avocado crate. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys the card that I had made for my sister for her birthday. Um, I'm actually giving this to her later today, so I hope she loves it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll also have any links for you guys um, that I mentioned in this video down below. So like the SVG file, um, maybe like this embossing folder that I used for the avocado, maybe some ink pads that I used to like ink the edges or whatever. 
So if you guys want that, just check the description box down below. And then afterwards, it just folds flat like this. And you can put it back into its little home in the envelope. So it just folds flat, which is really great. I think my sister is going to absolutely love this card. I'm actually thinking of just adding in like a little bit of Velcro down there as well. But yeah, super cute uh, birthday card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little project share video. Yeah, also I will have links down below for like the foam that I use and like this gold, which is like a sticker kind of gold kind of thing. I just had die cut it and then I took off the sticky back adhesive off and then I stuck it onto the foam. Um, any dies that I use, like for the tassel, these things, everything will just be listed down below, but I think it just came out so cute. So I really just wanted to do a project share for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.